Four hours of rest isn't going to be enough to carry us, though. I'm going to have to supplement that. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I think you can, like, click out and force yourself to wake up after a certain amount of time. Sleepiness is a characteristic that you have, and it goes up, as you might expect. Uh, so, you can force yourself up, but I am going to have to supplement this. What's going on in this fuse box here? It is. It's humming. There's a lot of, um, ambient noises, I guess I'd say, in Dorisburg. A lot of, a lot of things going on in the background, I'll say that. And what do we have here? Incidentally, if you miss this now, as I did in my first playthrough, it just disappears later, so that's kind of important. Also, I don't know the full story of this yet, because again, as I say, I haven't really uh, completed the game, but if you talk to Bobsia about it, and she, like, wants it, and you kind of have to get in a fight with her to keep it, so I'm just going to keep that to myself. What do we have here? Are you a chef? I ask the guy in the chef hat. He also sounds like he's lying. What's your name? What's your name, Chef Rooney? Hello, Mikhail. Mikhail the Chef. Pleased, pleased to meet you. What is this disc back here, Mikhail? I want it. Um, all he serves is coffee, which is all that I want, because again, I gotta get that sleepiness out somehow. Diner floppy, huh? I'm interested. Hope you don't mind if I'm back here, Mikhail. But I want diner floppy. Gonna be honest with you, this is the first time I've noticed this floppy, so we'll have to we'll read it later. I've got a plan for reading a lot of these floppies later in the day. Uh but for now, we've got things to do. Hello there, sir. It's not afternoon yet, although it's getting on there. Yeah, a lot of people don't like uh these conversations, you know, like, they don't have a lot to say to you. And this is what I mean, um, I did a lot of wandering in my first playthrough, and it was just very vague and kind of slippery. Well, have a nice day, businessman. There's also this guy over here. I'm not gonna talk to everybody, but just a few people. Hello. This guy seems much friendlier. And it's Bernard. Burned? Bernard? Bernard? I don't know. I assume the English version of this would be Bernard. You can tell that, uh... You can tell that he's... My guess is German because of the, the white socks and sandals. Let's see if we can confirm. Yes, he is a German. I picked it out at, at 10,000 feet. I was able to see that. Well, very nice. Just a traveling photographer. There's a bias in this game, I think. Again, I'm not all that uh, all that far into it, but my guess is there's sort of a bias towards uh, free-spirited creative types, like this guy. Even though he works at a bank, he's taking time off to do photography, and he dresses kind of funny, um, versus your more uptight business types, like that guy in the suit. Um, who is here for business and doesn't want to talk and is just kind of clipped and rude. All right, that took too long. I got to go out and... What am I supposed to do, by the way? My only direction was go to the Hotel de Vodka, so I guess I got to start selling soda somehow. They don't do very many cutscenes, so this is one of the few you get. Hello. Uh, yes, hello. Of course you didn't, Bobsia. Why would you? Uh, I could ask her what she thinks I could, I should do, but I bet she doesn't care. She also doesn't know where I would go to find him. So it's a guy, you don't know his name, you don't know what he looks like. Maybe he went to the cafe. Alright, where's the cafe? Middle of the city. You got it. Alright. Alright, Bobsy. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't want to get in a fight with her, so thanks. What are you oh my lording about? Are you just mad about working? I, mean, I understand. Don't get me wrong, Bobsy, I understand. So, our... Oh. Uh, I was gonna say our goal is to find this guy, but I think my immediate goal is to wonder why the... Okay, and this guy is also doing something. This is a business-suited guy. And apparently, somebody hacked the lamps, I guess? Right? Because that's what they're doing, right? It's hacking. It's it's clearly going to be that. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing? I could say that, and Sebastian doesn't know that, but you and I know that in a game about hacking, what they're doing is hacking things. Uh, and it looks like somebody hacked these to turn them into an art installation, where instead of showing a... a yeah, I guess. Instead of showing just a regular light now, it's kind of multicolored and changing. All right. Good luck, buddy. Hey, fixed him. Well done. <clears throat> so some people apparently can patch into, I was going to say electronic things, but maybe there's like an electronic system in our door that connects it to different places. Still seems kind of suspicious, but you know, here we are. Um, also, here's a glowing person walking down the street, so that's cool. Here's a cafe up here. It's at the Cafe Ponty, which we want to go to a cafe. Uh, hi! Hi there, person who's dressed all funny and clearly has electronic stuff and is glowing like the people that are hacking. Sure. Be on your way. They start to run away. Also, keep in mind that there were suits nearby, so... Hmm, maybe this shoe store is interesting. We're really not following the main plot. We're kind of going off on a trail of crumbs, but now she runs into the back there. Hello? Watch Sebastian ask what kind of a store this is, like a real dope. I don't know, Sebastian. There's shoes everywhere. There's pictures of shoes on the wall. There's a giant shoe outside. Yeah, I see. People are clearly going back there. Uh, how much? That seems insane to me. So either these are luxury shoes, or there's quite a bit of uh, inflation going on. <clears throat> I could try to be big man Japan and say that it's not much, but it seems like a lot to me. Yeah, how many shoes do you own? Let's go off farther on this rabbit trail. Two hundred and sixty pairs, so, you know, if they were the really expensive ones, that would be two hundred and sixty-four thousand dollars worth of shoes. Gah. All right. Fine. Sure. All right, lady. Yeah, I'm with you, Sebastian. Although, your shoes, man, I don't know. Maybe you do need a new pair. I am funny. Um... Yeah. I have another question. It's about that glowing lady who looked like some kind of a techno wizard and went in that door back there. Can I... Can I go back there? Hey. Uh, oh. She has something else to tell me, by the way. I don't know. I, I think maybe I had to ask about that first if I was going to have her ask about it. She plays as ignorant as you possibly could. She just goes, door? Girl? N no, I don't know about anything like that. Um, she also wants a cigarette, which is the entire reason I accepted one earlier. No, no, no. You leaving to go outside and smoke is is all the uh, benefit I need. I'm sorry I'm clicking through these answers a bit quick, but, you know, I, time being what it is. Here you go. It would be kind of funny to just smoke it right in front of her. Are Swedes addicted to cigarettes still? Is that a thing? If you wanted to have this role in the United States, you'd probably have to make it vaping or something. Anyway. Enjoy your time away from your post. Again, this is absolutely what I did on my first playthrough. Uh, although, funnily enough, I was just exploring around. I didn't... More humidity samples. I didn't actually see that lady. 
Uh, we got a musical token over here? Interesting. We also have, uh, snooze. Which are just, I think, like a little drug or something. Also, if you click on this fuse box, which is malfunctioning, you get transported here? Okay. I don't like it here. I want to leave. I don't know what this is or what I'm doing. So, that was weird. Um... Yes, I see. Unauthorized individuals, huh? Yeah, clearly not a shoe store back here. I think we can go that far. This computer has like a text adventure on it, that one over there, and it's way too long for me to want to do now. I'm gonna have to do that in like a bonus video. Hey, hey, buddy. Uh, is this part of the shoe store? I say like a dope? No, obviously it isn't. You dummy. Oh, I'm just poking around. Yeah, no reason to so obviously lie, Sebastian. And we saw this guy going in earlier through the shoe store, so... Uh, sure. Sure thing, pal. It's a little strange. Uh, again, you can, you can do this now, you can do it later, but there's no... Like, they give you that crumb of that lady walking in the, in the store. And I didn't notice her the first time, because, again, I was having camera problems. Um, and so when I walked in and I talked to the clerk, I was just like, Hi, I saw a girl run in here and disappear. I had no idea what the game was talking about. I think it just assumed that I saw that. Anyway, have a good time, lady. I've got to get to the Cafe Ponte, if you'll remember. So I'm going to be running. There are, of course, just a ton of areas. I mean, all of these little apartments in here we can go and explore. They all have... You know, things in them. I'm gonna kick this lamp because that's how it happened to me. Um, oh yeah, check out this giant black monolith that's just humming and thrumming away. Hey, it's the guy that gave us the cigarette earlier. That's nice. And a guy wearing like a croupier's outfit. Uh, this is the Cafe Ponte. It's got a nice little outside dock area. I have to admit, if I lived in this city, I would come here for sure. So again, we're just kind of searching for a guy? There was somebody who was looking for us at some point? Looking for anybody that might look that way? I'm gonna avoid conversation with all these people just because it's pointless. They're, none of them are our contact, but I do want to talk to this lady. Uh, hi. Hello. And I want to talk to her just because I think her dialogue is so great. Yes, I am new in town. Yeah! Yeah! It stinks here. Aw, oh, come on. Why don't you like your town? I think everybody sometimes... Yulian, eh? Interesting. Whose fault? A fine question and one that I have no answer to. Okay, uh, well, that was a bit of a bust, so let's go up and talk to the... Hi. Don't mind me, I'll just be sitting here. Four in the afternoon. Uh, no thanks, I already actually have free coffee at the hotel, so uh, I'm just going to be sitting in here. I'm here looking for uh, a person. Yeah, I don't know. Again, this is what I mean by, like, the early game is just super, super vague. And I think, again, one of the reasons that I had a hard time... I don't know. I don't know his name. A hard time getting into it. So I was basically panicking by this point, right? I was like, it is about 5 o'clock on the first day, and I have done nothing substantive. On these games, sometimes there's... Uh... Oh, all right. Bar Yvonne! We were told about a bar with a female name in it. Anyway, um, I know where it is, so I'm not going to ask for a detailed description. Thanks. Thanks, pal. Nice little coffee shop floors are in good shape, so that's always a good sign. 
I just, I figured that the whole game was passing me by, and um, I really didn't want to just, you know, play through this with just a, a playthrough, just a straight up walkthrough. Uh, no thank you. Just gonna pop into Doris Gardens here for a second. Just to show off the place, because it is very pretty. Sometimes there's a guy playing the trumpet up here and he doesn't talk to you, but not right now. That's fine. We don't need to talk to the trumpet man. Not quite just yet, anyway. Doris Gardens can be a bit of a shortcut, uh, although it doesn't really matter. I could have gotten here any number of ways, but this will take us to the plaza, which is where we are right now. Uh, you can see the burrows and the harbor are both this way, also the Hotel Devajka, so if we wanted to get home, we would head that way. This is sort of a main area. Let me pull out the map. Uh, so here's the Hotel Devajka. We went down here, sort of across this bridge and over to the cafe, and we cut through the gardens and are now up here in the plaza. So we've explored, we've been to a good number of the areas, and we don't know which one of these buildings is the um, Bar Yavon. So, lacking any signage, let's see, is it in here? Oh, no, this appears to be some kind of a giant towering monolith of computers with uh, glowing wires and holograms? Okay. I think let's go and not ask anyone about this or talk to them about it. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of weird areas in here, and again, just this sensation that something is really going on behind the scenes. Uh, what do we have over here? Ah, look! The Bar Yvonne. It's not on the sign in particular, but that's fine. So we were told our contact might be here. And kind of looks like no luck so far. There is a beer that I will swipe uh, because that crusty guy wanted one. And he only wants to know if I want a beer. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Okay. So maybe later tonight there will be some people here. Maybe I can finally meet my contact. Talk to that DJ back here. Where are you up to, buddy? Hi. Do you? Because the place is completely deserted. I don't know that you do, but that's fine. Looks like a fine little club, I suppose. Not really, uh, not really my scene, but that's fine. You might ask, what is Bacter's scene? There is a... Oh, look, the people are starting to come to the club. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Definitely seems like you should be going to the bar. Don't want to give her just patronizing advice. Uh, somebody going home to their apartment. Interesting. Okay, definitely part of the youth movement in a tower next to the hospital. Seems to be inviting me by, honestly, if she's being this specific. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, yeah, I was planning on it. Yes, yes I am. Let's just say that that was like my 18th or 19th birthday or something. Boy, they don't really check ID very well, do they? Okay, well, it looks like people are starting to show up to the bar, so let's head back in. See if we can't, uh, get a handle on things. What's this other person got to say? Oh. When did she show up there? That lady on the... Alright, okay, alright. Okay, how? How do I dance? Sure. Sure thing. Great atmosphere in here, I guess. Seems kind of empty. There's like two people sitting and one person standing stock still on the uh, on the stage there. I'm Sebastian. No Sebs, please. Nice to meet you too. Uh, 
Uh, likewise. I'm gonna be enthusiastic about meeting people. An after party. Again, though, none of this is what we're supposed to be doing, which is meeting our contacts so we can sell some dang soda. Ah, this must be the one by the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I've been told about it. Well, that's all cool and everything. I'll have to go to an after party at some point. Fishing huts. Okay. Sure. Sure. I'll drop by. It's not really, like, first on my to-do list, but I'm sure an after-party sounds fun. It's nice to be, you know, new in a city and already getting invited to local shindigs. Let's talk to this person who's highlighted for us by standing on the dance floor. So, she's highlighted, but also not busy, right? So, I think that's supposed to be a subtle indication. Come and talk to this person. I am not now controlling the camera. It's spinning around uh, for me. And I think that's because the game thinks that this is, like, an incredible moment. That uh, we're meeting... Look, they're, they're even playing some, like, <laughs> some romantic music. Yeah, I'm not buying it, but that's fine. Um... You know, I hate to uh, brag, but I am a, uh, I'm a probationary soda salesman. Let's find out, what do people think about our brand of soda? Wellspring soda. I don't know if the game thinks you're gonna start to have started to sell it by now or not, but spoiler alert, Wellspring sucks. Nobody likes Wellspring. So let's just go along with it and say, yeah. She's very clearly trying very hard to, uh, make this work. Yeah, I'm sure if you mix anything with lots of booze, it would be... It would be fine. Oh, I've shamed the name of Wellspring. Well, thanks. Thanks, Pixie. I guess you're the manic Pixie dream girl. Oh, this is going so well. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit too much. You know, I'm going to try to be friends with her, I think. She seems nice. But uh, I'm not, again, buying the, like, love at first sight thing here. Hey, you know, she seems tolerable. Kind of dressed weird, but so are all of us in this cool youth culture. I want to know, where do you work, Pixie? Well, that's what we just talked about for five minutes, so I don't know that I would really say that. Pretty cagey, though. Just getting invited to things left and right. I backed her wouldn't even be at this club, but I backed her also probably wouldn't go to a party in a mine. Even if the DJ was really kicking or whatever. Who knows? I like to try new things. Maybe I would go. But I would just stand around and hate it the whole time. I would be angrily staring at that guy in the panda hat, dancing into the booths in the corner. Yet, yeah, notice that they're like railroading us a little bit more. They're really not. I mean, you don't have to show up to this. You can say sounds good and not meet her, and the game will totally let you, but um, giving you, like, a time and a place to be tomorrow, 6 o'clock here tomorrow, I think that's they're trying to say, hey, uh, maybe you ought to do this. You know, that's, uh, that's something that would be behoove you to do. Well, it was nice to meet you too, Pixie. And to be honest, it's getting a little bit on in time. Uh, likewise, good to meet you. See you tomorrow. Yep. 
Boy, it sure would be awkward if she brought up a boyfriend. Ma. Ivan. Ivan. Ivan! Ivan. Because I don't care. I'm not... See, like, that camera just zoomed out, you know, as if the spell was being broken or whatever. All right, goodbye. That's fine. I'm not trying to follow you, Pixie, but I am also done here for the evening. So, just, uh, you know, don't interpret this the wrong way. I guess it might be weird if you, like, met somebody. Uh, what? Okay, maybe it did. Yeah, Pixie doesn't like it when people follow her. Good to know. Hi. Weird. Alright. Maybe I should have been more aggressive and been like, look, I'm just going home. What's that sound? Still a good character note for later. She don't like being followed. Which, fair enough. If you're talking to somebody and then they follow you. There's Trumpet Man. You do you, buddy. Okay, I'm not really able to talk to him or interact with him much. Let's get out of here and get back to Dvachka. I say that uh, because it might, you might think at this point, well, I'll just wander around a little bit more randomly around the city trying to find my contact, again, as I was doing on my first playthrough, but no, uh, that's not what you're meant to do. Instead, first off, let's talk to this guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, you wanted a beer, right? What do you think? Well, I think you're about to get a beer. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we do it. Well, thanks. Thanks, pal. Okay. You're a cool dude, hobo. I also don't need this booze, so I'm just going to... Put it down. There we go. Alright, now let's head back into Devachka. And who should we find sitting on a couch right here? But uh, a new person who is, spoiler alert, our contact from Wellspring Soda. Do you know where the cafe is, sir? Peddles his wares. Yeah, there you go. What are you selling? Let me just make sure first. Haha, <laughs> boy, you're, you're getting it. Well, how about that? Are you one of their most accomplished salesmen? I don't know. Would you send your best or your worst to, like, the little island town that nobody really knows about. Because I'm thinking it might not be your absolute top of the top. It's just my idea. Sebastian is my name. Well, I am sorry, but I went everywhere that I was told and have just now run into you. Also, of course I don't. Of course, uh, Sebastian left his house without any form of ID. I don't know why you would think anything else would be different. Not 
No. I have nothing. Maybe I can ask my mom to mail it. Oh, look, man, who else would pretend? You know, like, who's, who's really, uh, trying to fool you into believing they're your probationary soda salesman? Yeah, I guess it will. Right. Let's get some of that training, my boy. I do want to do a good job, I think. Yeah, for sure. Right. Good to know where we get the cans from. And I guess I just cold sail to people. Like, it's not like I have a list of places to go. I just, uh walk around and try to sell people sodas that I'm carrying with me in my in my cloth bag. Very odd, but you know, fine. That's how it is. 